Hello children, welcome to the 7th Science Online Classes. In last class we studied about buccal cavity and the three main organs comprises in the buccal cavity are the teeth, tongue and salivary glands. And we studied in detail about the teeth. Four kinds of human teeth we studied. They are incisors, canines, premolars and molars. And we studied the function also, functions and the number of each tooth in human uh, mouth. And today we are going to study about the reason of tooth decay about uh, tongue and salivary glands. Okay, let us see. Milk teeth and permanent teeth. Humans have milk teeth during childhood. Milk teeth begin to appear when the child is just a few months old. You know that a baby grown up and are six months or uh, seven months that time teeth uh, start to grow so that kind of teeth are called milk teeth there are 20 milk teeth the milk teeth loosen and begin to fall off between the age of 6 and 8 years so that age 6 and 8, eight years between the age of 6 and 8 years the milk teeth start to fall off when milk teeth fall off in a child another set of teeth grow in their place the second set of teeth is called permanent teeth the permanent teeth grow in the place of milk teeth the permanent set of teeth remains till the old age so here we know that a human have two sets of teeth milk teeth and permanent teeth milk teeth means in the childhood uh, days that time uh, that teeth teeth are called milk teeth and that milk teeth uh, begin to fall off between the age of six and eight years and another set of teeth grow in the place of milk teeth that second set of teeth is called permanent teeth and uh, uh, that permanent teeth remains till the old age tooth decay so in this picture it is very clear what is tooth decay you can see here this tooth decay when we eat food small bits of food get stuck between our teeth Sometimes these bits of food stay between our teeth if we do not brush your teeth carefully. So you know that after eating the food we have to brush our teeth. Otherwise what will happen? The bits of food stuck between these teeth. Okay. So normally some bacteria are present in our mouth. Some bacteria. And that bacteria, they are not harmful to us. But sometimes the bacteria present in our mouth react with the leftover food and form acids. So if we are not washing or we are not rinsing uh, our mouth with water, some leftover food is there stuck between the teeth. And the bacteria living in our mouth react with this leftover food and they produce some acids. These acids affect the tooth enamel which starts decaying. So this bacteria causes decaying of the teeth. This is called tooth decay. So we will read once again. When we eat food small bits of food get stuck between our teeth sometimes 
these bits of food stay between our teeth if we do not brush your teeth carefully the bacteria present in our mouth react with the leftover food and form acids these acids affect the tooth enamel which starts decaying this is called the tooth decay so this is the reason of tooth decay so now we know the reason of tooth decay and tooth decay causes the following holes or cavities in the teeth you can see in this picture holes or cavities formed in the tooth here second one foul smell foul smell means bad smell because of this decaying of the tooth causes bad smell loosening of teeth okay so uh, this is loosened from we know we studied that the, each tooth is fixed into the gum okay uh, here one socket is there and each tooth is fixed uh, in that socket of that gum so because of the tooth decay the tooth uh, loosen from the socket and fall off and another big problem is tooth ache okay so these are the uh, very uh, important uh, causes tooth decay causes uh, these are the things holes or cavities foul smell loosening of teeth and toothache and how we can avoid this tooth decay some points are here we should avoid eating too many sweets ice creams and chocolates and uh, next point we must brush our teeth at least twice a day in the morning and at night before going to bed so these are the very important things to avoid tooth decay you have to follow these two points salivary glands our mouth has salivary glands and salivary glands secrete saliva they produce the juice digestive juice called saliva and the saliva helps to break down the starch into sugars the saliva helps to break down the starch into sugars so in your textbook one activity is there activity 2.3 that is uh, two test tubes are there in one test tube boiled rice and another test tube uh, chewed boiled rice uh, we are chewing the boiled rice in our mouth and take that thing that is in the second uh, test tube so in the first test tube boiled rice and the uh, second test tube chewed boiled, boiled rice and in each test tube we add some water and mix that uh, things and we put two three drops of iodine solution so you know that what is iodine solution why we are using iodine solution or iodine test is for to detect starch okay so when we put uh, two three drops of iodine solution to each test tube the first test tube that is first test tube contain boiled rice that change to that color changes to uh, blue color or purple color because that boiled rice contain uh, starch but in that uh, second one that is boiled rice but that is chewed after chewing uh, we put that boiled rice so that thing it is not uh, show any color change why because when we are chewing the saliva breaks down the starch in the boiled rice into sugar so there is no starch there after chewing there is no starch that is why it is not uh, showing the starch test by iod got it children so once again i am saying about salivary glands our mouth has salivary glands they secrete saliva 
and the saliva helps to break down the starch into sugars. Next is about our tongue. So the tongue has no bones and tongue is a fleshy muscular organ, muscle that is a muscle and it is very fleshy and the uh, tongue is attached at the back to the floor of the buccal cavity. You know that the tongue is uh, attached to the back side or last part of our buccal cavity. Now we see which are the functions of tongue. The tongue helps in mixing saliva with food during chewing. So when we chew the food, the saliva produced by the salivary glands. So that saliva mix with the food. So that is the first point. The tongue helps in mixing saliva with food during chewing. And the second point, the tongue helps in swallowing the food. You just imagine without your tongue, how you can swallow the food. You can't. Okay, so the tongue helps in swallowing the food third point the tongue helps to speak so without tongue we cannot speak so the tongue helps to speak fourth point the tongue helps in getting the taste we are getting a sweet or sweet taste or salty taste bitter taste this by the tongue so these are the important functions of tongue. So I am reading once again. The tongue helps in mixing saliva with food during chewing. The tongue helps in swallowing the food. The tongue helps to speak. The tongue helps in getting the taste. Different parts of the tongue are sensitive to different taste. The tongue has taste buds which detect different taste of food. Our tongue has four kind of taste buds which detect sweet, salty, sour and bitter taste. The taste buds for each of these tastes are located in different parts of the tongue see children this is the tongue and when you are eating any sweet substance or uh, chocolate or uh, something the, we have uh, our, that taste bud of sweet is here the tip of the tongue so the taste bud of uh, sweet located here only and when you are eating uh, any salty things salty chips or something that taste we are getting from here this side of this uh, tongue that is the taste buds of salt are located here and when you are eating sour lemon juice or something that is sour taste so that time we are getting that taste by here that is the location of taste bud of sour and bitter bitter taste uh, that is bitter guard okay that is have the bitter taste uh, it get the taste from this part this part of the tongue so the taste bud for each of the taste are located in different part of the tongue and we have four taste buds which are the four taste buds a taste bud for sweet taste bud for salt salty taste bud for sour and taste bud for bitter so these are the uh, things we studied today and uh, all of you read the textbook and you can underline the important points with a pencil okay and i'll give some questions also so you have to write the answer okay children Thank you.